So for the exciting part, so let's track our first ever event here in next panel. So I created a script section here just before the close and body tag. And this is one of the first functions that Mixpanel offers, the Mixpanel.track. Very simple. So the first thing we have the, this is the name of the event. So we will call this our first event. And if you want to add properties, these are custom properties, right? Remember Mixpanel stores a lot of things by default. But if you want to send anything else along with your event that's custom, that's useful to you, you can just create uh, the section here to track a few other things. So here we're tracking a property called order of event. Uh, and this is uh, an integer value of one. And let's also track a, a property call ID. Uh, and then we'll send this value along, which is the ID. Uh, so there's a few data structures that make final supports, integers, strings, uh, data, data formats, list formats, uh, booleans. So you can, using those different structures, you can figure out what kind of structure you need for your custom properties. So let's save this. And we can see here, so let's reload this. And we can now see that the mixmail.track is being added to our page. And this code, of course, gets fired as soon as the page loads. So the mixmail library gets loaded, and then it gets here, it reads it, and it fires it, right? So if we go into our project, and then we go into our live view, we're going to see it here. So the live view is one of the functions of the Mixpanel dashboard, and it's a very handy, handy function because it shows you events as soon as they come in. You can see that this, this event was fired 29 seconds ago, 30 seconds now. And we can see a few of, we can see the properties now. So we see all the properties. So if you look at our properties, we see the two properties that we set, order of event with an integer value of one, and ID with a string. And then we see, of course, the, the properties mix all track automatically. So we can definitely see here the browser, the city, the current URL where we were at, distinct ID, which we'll cover later on, but this relates to user profiles and some refer information, right? A few other things. And that's how you send your first your first event to Mixpanel. Now, what we want to look at now is we definitely want to look at how we can tie events to actions like links and forms and a few other special things. We don't just want events to fire right away. But that's the, the basics of it. And you can kind of get data to make sound of very quickly.